I'm Ali from Ergo Baby and Tula. Some of you might already know me. Some of you might have seen my colleague do some demos with you yesterday. Um, I'm going to talk you through Tula a bit about the brand and then I'm going to show you some products on myself just so you can see how they work. Um, basically, um, for those that you know that know about baby wearing, um, it's a really personal thing. So Tula's really good in terms of getting um, the style that you want out of a carrier. We do loads of different colours. We have a core collection, um, up to about eight colours in the core collection. And then we also do one-time buy colours. So these come in seasons where there might be like 100 units and then once they're gone, they're gone forever, which really appeals to obviously, especially independent retailers who maybe want something a little bit different, who maybe have a customer that uh, you know particularly likes a certain colour, um, so just generally, we, we kind of try to fix the customer a little bit more, find something that's a little bit more fun. The core collections are very much like you, um, these style of prints. They're quite basic in terms of, of prints, but we do do some pretty wacky ones. So, you know, keep your eyes out for those. Um, as I say, like um, Ergo Baby do own Tula now, as from 2016. We took it over and just wanted to kind of push it as a brand really we saw how great it is and you know we just wanted to make sure that um in terms of growing the brand worldwide we were doing a great job and you know just making sure that everybody knows about Tula in general so um what i'm going to do now is actually take you through how to pop the carriers on so a lot of people especially when they're demoing in stores they get a little bit worried about how to maybe put a carrier on, if it's going to fit the customer. I get that asked, asked a lot, like, oh, you know, what if they try it on and they're really petite? Is it going to sit right? What if they try it on and, you know, maybe I have bigger shoulders? How's that going to work? So I'll just talk you through it all and, you know, make sure that you're aware of, of the carrier itself. So I'm just going to show you the um, two leg explore. Um, so the Tula Explore comes in eight core colours. We also do one-time buys as well. Um, if anybody wants any price list or um, anything, again, I can put my email into the chat afterwards just so I can send those across. So it looks like a contraption, uh, but it's actually super easy to put on, uh, really comfortable. It's got padded shoulder straps, nice thick wide waistband. So, you know, obviously you don't have to, but if you did have a C-section, you could actually still wear the carrier. Um, popping it on to start off with you've got like these poppers so similar to the ergo baby carrier we have um kind of sections where you move it out with this you just have poppers really simple and straightforward make it smaller as the child's smaller and then make it larger as they grow with the carrier um the carrier does actually go from 3.2 kilos which is seven pounds um right up to 20 kilos so it does um go up quite a um, to a high weight, it faces inwards, um, outwards, world facing, and it goes on your back as well. So it isn't just a carrier from birth, you can use it all the way through. All I've done there is just literally put my waistband on. I'm just going to tighten that up. What I'm going to do now is grab my weighted doll. I do get a funny few looks carrying these around, especially when I go visit retailers. So you just hold them, hold the baby to yourself bring the carrier up and then what you want to do is actually pop one arm in and then the other arm into the other side and just hold the straps reach up and then what you want to do is just literally try not to get your hair in the way but just clip that in and then just tighten it across your back and um, the reason why Ergo Baby and Tula are so popular in the baby wearing world is um, it makes basically makes sure that um, the legs are in this nice M position shape. We really pride ourselves in ergonomics for the baby, but not, not just for the baby, also the parent, but mainly for the baby in the terms of the nice M shape. A lot of the carries you just kind of see on the high street, um, the legs kind of dangle in this horrible downward um, positioning and it's actually really really bad for the baby um, you want to make sure they're in that nice m shape and actually sat in a proper seat um, so we actually work with hip displacement institute to make sure all the carriers are really safe and secure this one in particular has a little bit of a mesh panel in on it so this is really good for the summer months 
You also have a little UV 50 plus sun hood. So that just goes over baby's head and then just literally press studs onto the carrier, which covers baby's head. Um, down at the bottom here, you've got two buttons. You've got buttons on the outside and you've got buttons a little bit further in. And um, what these buttons are for is for when you want to face baby outwards, you basically change the buttons inwards. This then changes the position into outward facing. Uh, just make sure that again, baby's got the best seat possible and he's really comfortable. 